Thanks for checking out Sunday's expanded Bible verse of the day. Our passage today is 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus is from God, this is the spirit of the Antichrist, of which you have heard that it is coming, and now it is already in the world. You are from God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. They are from the world, therefore they speak as from the world, and the world listens to them. We are from God. He who knows God listens to us. He who is not from God does not listen to us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. When we encounter an angel or a spiritual being, we must test that being to find out if it's from God. If it does not confess that Jesus came in the flesh, it should be rejected immediately. Additionally, we need to test everything that we see and hear in that encounter to make sure that it lines up with the written Word of God, because a messenger of God is not going to contradict the written Word of God. Now, honestly, not many people are going to encounter a spiritual being. However, the use of the word spirit in this passage can also refer to people. There have been many false prophets, false teachers, and false leaders who have come into the church and who are going to come into the church, and they desire to deceive the people of God. This can be for personal wealth, for fame, because they're deceived, or because they serve the evil one. We need to be careful who we listen to, and we need to test the lifestyle as well as the words of the people that teach and preach and prophesy and lead. We need to be careful that what we see and hear from them lines up with the written word of God, because it's not just a spiritual being who can deceive other people can be that spirit, that spirit of antichrist, if you will, that infiltrates the church and deceives his people, God's people. So be careful who you listen to and make sure that what they're saying and their lifestyle lines up with God's word. Father, I thank you for sending your spirit to guide us and to lead us and teach us into all truth. Father, I thank you for giving us the written word that we can read and study to know when we encounter teachers and even spiritual beings to discern whether they are true or false. Father, I thank you for my friends today who have taken the time to listen and watch, and I just pray your blessing upon them. Give them a spirit of wisdom and revelation and understanding so that they can discern what is truth and what is error. Father, bless them today. In Jesus' name, amen.